paving time on Southeast Foster Road near 82nd. This is part of a $9 million project to remake the traffic flow and change the feel of this area. It does feel like it's changing. They're trying to make it look better. Keely Cooper and her husband own Automotive Outfitters. They've been here 18 years. It was always dangerous. We've seen over our 18 years here, especially where it would curve here, um, at least once a month, a really bad accident. Foster Road here has been busy forever, but take a look from up above, and you'll get a look at what they're doing to calm things down. Four lanes of traffic squeezed down to two over a 40 block area from 50th to 90th. New traffic lights and new wider sidewalks are here as well. It would be nice. Dan Gregorio gets around in a motorized scooter. He looks forward to quieter, safer streets and sidewalks. It, if it helps, yeah. But uh, when all the construction ain't here, this is the uh, uh, Indy 500. Not everyone is a fan, but the work is moving forward. The cost is being paid for by a 10 cent a gallon gas tax the voters approved two years ago. We realize that with a construction project this big, there's some short-term inconvenience, but we really feel the long-term improvements will be worth it. Business owner Keeley Cooper agrees. A more pedestrian friendly. Uh, I think it'll get people out of their houses a little bit, uh, maybe help clean it up a little around here. Uh, it'll, be, it'll be nice. I'm looking forward to it. I think a lot of people in this neighborhood feel that way. By the way, the city said its models show that even during rush hour, these four lanes down to two will only add three minutes of time to get through this section. I got to tell you, nobody that I talked to today outside the city actually believes that. We'll see. Also, during the 2000s, there were 1,200 crashes out here. The city says this work will at least cut that in half. Back to you. All right. Time will tell.